Takeoff Bowling Alley Raw video. It's probably on YouTube. This is Thinking Lisa Z Executive. <laughs> Everything's in slow motion, right? Hold on. I just want to find the first angle. I, I, I got to download it somewhere. Maybe type in takeoff shooting. Takeoff shooting, probably, right? Takeoff shooting video. We've seen this angle before. Where's the other angle? There's another fucking angle. And it's the angle we were breaking down when there was a swing, right? Because we knew somebody got punched. Where is that fucking angle at? Hold on. Wait, there's a play button? In the top left. Oh. No. Fuck. Now they hating on this shit. I'm gonna have to go back to my old videos type shit. Just chat. I'll, try. I'll find it for you. Go. Okay. Find that video for me. You know what video I'm talking about, right? Um, the first one, right? That, that um, where they, where they swing off with each other? Yeah. We're looking from, it's a different angle. Uh, is it here? No. Nah, nah, nah. No, this is not it. This is the angle with, this is the Migo bands, dude. Which, by the way, okay, as you're going to get into it, chat, um, essentially, Jay Prince says this is a guy who escalated everything with his energy. And because of his energy, that's why bullets got fired and why takeoff got killed. Let's go back to this for a second, though. I mean, a, a two on two, playing a two on two, and now you can turn a misdemeanor into a felony. I'm gonna say this. A lot of people seen the video. It was a few seconds, and Junior, they seen you walking by. Um, we understand that, uh, oh, you know, yeah. Quavo, Takeoff, they was down here with y'all. Uh -huh. But they seen you walking by. He's he's laying on the ground. You got Mike bending down, and they seen you walking by. What, what, what took place there? This the crazy Isn't thing it? about the video, right, is one scenario is that they see Mike on the ground trying to help Takeoff. But in the video, Mike was right behind me. Some people didn't peep that. People think that I'm the one who had a voice. I mean, I'm the one who was speaking in the video, but I wasn't. If you go back and look at the video, Mike is walking right behind me. They took three seconds of a situation where I was caught on video and turned it into what they wanted it to be. But in our actuality, we had been there for a while. Mike was following me so we can go to the restroom so he can uh, wash the blood off his hands. Got it. And so he can enlighten me I I to what transpired because I wasn't even out there when this transpired. I, died. I was inside oh, paying a bill. So I had no knowledge of what had transpired outside. As I'm walking to the, I had just got done paying the bill. As I'm walking to the door, I hear gunshots. And then I also hear bullets coming through the glass. So I got out the way because I was almost at the door. So I end up getting out the way and Sadly, what had taken place had taken place. But in that three-second clip, it was me and Mike walking to the restroom so he can wash the blood off his hands and so he can enlighten me to what transpired outside. It was rumors that after all this occurred... Hold on. We, we, we got the video, chat. We got the video. Shit, it's kind of sad. Like, I, like I, went, I went back to... Uh, the fucking day it happened, and I have the video saved on my computer, which is a little eerie, but whatever. Okay, let's see if. All right, so. Display capture. Here we go. Cool. So, Chad, this is the video right here, right? 
So take off right here. That's Mike Prince talking. They said they know y'all they're not gonna be disrespectful. Quavo's talking about basketball. He said we don't care nothing about no basketball. He said we just play basketball. We see Mike Prince move off and then um, Quavo move off. Then we're gonna see a, a swing. Yeah, this is when we kind of we, we argued about if this is a swing or a shot. We argued about this before. Or it could be an accidental fire because somebody got pistol with. I mean, he on his like heel though. That's when you take off on a nigga, bro. You, you lean back like that. Yeah, some people say shots, some people say swing. You see, see, it's very. It's, it's all over the place. All right, cool. Um, so yeah, th that's the main thing, right? We're going to come back to this video and I'm going to keep it up. I'm going to keep this video up. But um, according to Jay Prince Jr., because we, we actually don't see him in the argument. So he might be right. He might not. He probably tell the truth about that. He's paying the bill, right? Mike Prince, though, is in the middle of the argument. And apparently when Jay Prince Jr. says he's about to come out of the place, he heard gunshots, he kind of run back in, or he kind of like hides. And obviously, Mike Prince then comes in afterwards and tells him what's up. Here we go. You was the one that took Quavo and him to the hospital. Y'all still was together after the I stayed, I stayed with Quavo. We stayed out there probably like two or three hours together before we all parted ways and made sure each other was cool. Like, me and him stayed out there. Like, uh, one other person pulled up, but it was me. The, you know, again, Gillian Waller are just fine interviewers, so, you know, I'm, I'm not critiquing their skills. But, you know, the first thing I would, I would ask, be like, wait, the police said they showed up and there was supposedly over, like, damn near 50 people at this event, but there wasn't one person there when they pulled up. So how the hell did y'all stay there for an hour afterwards if the cops never saw you and you never saw the cops. That don't sound right. Shit. Chat. Hold on. Police speak on takeoff. Here we go. They're going to say what happened. Hello, everyone. My bad. <laughs> uh, the mayor's here. After he speaks, I'm going to, uh, they came upon a, a male who was deceased. Here we go. Uh, that male has been identified as Kersnick Ball, better known as Takeoff. He's a, a member of the Migos uh, rap group out of Atlanta. And I want to pause again because sometimes the hip hop community it's a bad name. And I know, and evident from this city and people who I have a personal relationship, a lot of great people in our hip hop community. And I respect them. But back to take off. I got many calls from Houston and outside of Houston. And everyone spoke of what a great young man this is, how peaceful he is, what a great artist. And I'm calling up on everybody. Our hip hop artists in Houston and possibly as early as next week. Patrol officers received a call at approximately 2.30 for a pronounced deceased on the scene on the third level <coughs> outside, just outside the front door. Uh, we were also informed that two other individuals 
um, had reported themselves by personal uh, vehicle to area local area hospitals uh, on their own, both of them with non-life-threatening injuries, but a 23-year-old male and a 24-year-old female. Um, like I said, both of them are going to be okay, um, and we have spoken and gotten information from them to help us in this investigation. But the officers arriving on the scene, initial statements from employees working at the uh, establishment notified us that there was an incident that occurred after the party had ended. There was a private uh, party that was booked out for the uh, event. And then after that ended, uh, there was a large group of people who gathered at the front door area just outside of the uh, building. And uh, it led to an argument where the shooting took place uh, from the disagreement. A lot of the people that were there fled the scene um, and did not stick around to give a statement. So we're asking them to either call us at the Homicide Division at 